Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to create a realistic notebook page in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm here in Adobe Illustrator, and let's go ahead and create new. I'm going to come up here to print, and then I'll choose letter and create. Now, usually notebook paper is about letter size, so I'm going to go ahead and just use my artboard uh, to help me draw a rectangle about that size. So I'll hit M on my keyboard and I'll just come up here and start and drag to the size of the artboard. Now I don't actually want this to be this big, but I do want to maintain the proportions. I'll hit V to get to my selection tool and then I'll grab a corner and hold shift and make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to use my space bar to move around the canvas and then I'll move this into the center of the page. To get a white fill and a black outline on this, I'm just going to hit D on my keyboard, which is what I already had, but if you want to follow along, you might want to also make yours a white fill and black outline. Now we need to get our notebook lines on there, so I'm going to hit A on my keyboard and just draw a little box around this line right up here. So only this piece is selected. These down here are not. So I'm going to copy that with Command C, Control C on a PC, and then paste in front. That's Command F or Control F on a PC. And so we only have that line now. And now I'll hold Shift and use my arrows to move it down quite a lot. It'll jump a lot at a time if you hold Shift. Now I don't need a fill on this, so I'm going to click on my fill and just get rid of it. And I want to change my black to blue. Those lines are kind of blue, so I'm going to double click it. Then I'll choose this kind of lighter blue and go with this one. Go with just a mid-tone right here. We'll say OK. Now if we click off, we can see we have a thin blue line up here. I'll hit Z and draw a box to zoom in. OK, and this is looking nice. Now I want the lines to go almost all the way to the bottom. I'm going to Command minus to zoom back out. So I'm going to hit V on my keyboard, click on this, hold Shift and Option or Shift and Alt to make a copy along the same plane. I want it to end right about here. So I've got my two lines and now I just need to fill it in with a bunch of other lines. So to do that, I'm going to get over here to my Blend tool. I think I want about 25 lines or so in between there. So I'll change my specified steps to 25. By the way, I double clicked on that to get into my blend options. So we'll say, OK. Now I still have my blend tool. I'm just going to click on this top one and then click on the bottom one. And that will blend those two lines and add our 25 lines in between. OK, now we need our red lines and those are vertical. I'm going to hit A on my keyboard to get to the direct selection tool. And I'll just click this line here, copy that, and paste in front, Command F or Control F, and then use my arrows and hold Shift to get it over right about there. Then I'll double click my stroke. I'm going to change this to a red and say OK. And now I want another red line right beside it. So I'll copy and paste in front, Command F or Control F, and just move it over a tiny bit. I think our colors might be a little strong, so I'm going to select everything, hold shift and deselect the outer outline. So now I only have the blue lines and the red lines, and I'm going to change the opacity of those to 80%. Now if you don't see this top bar, you can always come up here to Window and Control and that turns that off and on. And now I'm also going to make them a little bit thinner. So I'm going to hit Command F10 to get my stroke up. That's Control F10 on a PC. And you can also come up here to go to Window, Stroke. And all of these other palettes are available under Window also. Let's change our stroke to 0.5. And now we'll take a look. And now it's looking really, really similar to the notebook paper that I used to use in elementary school. Now I want to add some holes along here. So I'm going to hit L to get my circle tool. And then I'll just add one little one here. I'll hit D on my keyboard to get the white fill and black outline. Then I'm going to hit V to get back on my selection tool. 
I'll click and drag and hold Shift and Option and put one right down here. That's Shift and Alt on a PC. Now I'll select both of these and I think I want to change the blend to 15 steps now. So I'll double click it and add 15 here. And then I'm still on my blend tool. I can click the first one and then click the second one and it'll add all the holes in between. Now I want to actually cut these out of this sheet up here. So to do that, I'll need to expand these first. If you hit Command Y or Control Y, you can see that they're just a line in between them. We want to see all the paths and points of the little circles. So we'll come up here to Object, Expand, and we'll choose all three of these and say OK. So now if we hit Command Y, you can see each of the little circles. Command Y again to get out, or Control Y on a PC. All right, let's select those, and we'll also hold Shift and select the page. Now we'll come down here to Pathfinder and we'll choose minus front, which is the second shape mode. And now what this has done is bring it to the front. So we need to send it to the back with shift command left bracket or shift control left bracket on a PC. And now instead of a hard line edge, I'd like to just have no edge, but add a drop shadow to this. So I'm going to get rid of my stroke and now I'll come up here to effect stylize drop shadow. And let's turn on preview to see how it looks. This actually looks really nice right now. We've got a 25% opacity, one point offset X and Y, and also a two point blur. So we'll say, okay. And now if I click off, we have a very realistic looking notebook page. Now let's zoom in here. You can see that some of our blue lines actually cross over our holes, which does not make any sense at all. So I'm going to hit command minus. I'm going to take this page, copy it, and we're going to use it as a mask so that that doesn't happen anymore. I'm going to paste in front with command F, control F on a PC. And I want to make sure that Illustrator sees this as one piece. You can check that right up here. It says compound pass. So that means it sees it as one piece and that's a good thing. Let's open our appearance palette and get rid of that drop shadow. I'll just pull it into the trash. And now since this is a mask, I don't need a fill on it. So I'll get my fill up and get rid of that. And now I think what I'll do is just select that page back there and hide it with command three. Now, if I select everything, I've got the mask and I've got the blue lines and the red lines and that's it. The page is hidden right now. It's not selected. So let's go ahead and do a clipping mask. We'll come up here to object, clipping mask, make. And now if we come in here, you can see that where the holes fall, that is masked into that shape. Let's command minus and then we'll come up here to object show all. And now we've got our drop shadow back, but our blue lines do not cross over the holes. Now you can use this realistic notebook paper in your projects and it'll look great. Okay. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. And you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.